For this encounter practice four in the surrendering guide, I'm coming to you from this beautiful vineyard of Zinfandel grapes. Uh, so beautiful. And the reason for that choice is this wrap up encounter practice for the guide is going to conclude with one of Andrew Murray's uh, beautiful chapters on surrendering to the vine. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm thankful for your diligence. I'm really proud of your progress. We're making good he headway. And I hope that this journey of intimacy with Jesus, daily encounter practice, uh, going through the surrendering prayer and making that a meaningful part of your morning every day um, is blessing you. And you're experiencing some rays of light and joy and excitement um, in your journey with Jesus. So I'm looking at encounter practice four and our, our practice for the week is surrendering song. Um, and like your previous chapter with uh, the surrendering flame, uh, we will start with a prayer. And you'll see there, number one, uh, this beautiful prayer. Uh, see, this is different than you picking your favorite songs or being in the familiar zone. This is starting your connection with Jesus by inviting him to help you decide uh, what to do with your practice. Lord of all harmonies, rhythms, and tunes, awaken my creativity and allow me to practice your presence with the help of musical expressions. Speak to my mind and heart and show me what you would like me to do as I seek to encounter you. So some great ideas there with the pearls. You may choose a, a couple of those and maybe make up one of your own and create a little uh, experience during this uh, period ahead uh, where you can journal three different practices that you have with the surrendering song. Um, that'll be great conversation, great uh, connection for you and your mentoring partner. And then as you turn to the material for a moment, you'll see that uh, we have a chapter of amazing teaching by Leslie Weatherhead on tuning our GPS. You're getting it, right? The gift of present sense, not, not the GPS that tells you how to get from here to there or where I am on the planet, but where I am in relationship to God and where God is in relationship to me. Proximity of relationship. Uh, so this is gonna be very encouraging for you and very insightful. Uh, Leslie Weatherhead says on page six, uh, number 16 on page 91, remember that this mode of relational connectivity with Jesus is a gift that must be developed, a lost art that must be found. Yes, a sacred art. So thank you for all the effort you're putting into this. Uh, this is going to be a very, very big payoff for you in your friendship with Jesus. And then around the corner comes uh, surrendering to the vine, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, this chapter will encourage you. Look at the subtitles and turn the pages. Absolute dependence on the vine. Deep restfulness in the vine. Much, much fruitfulness in the vine. Oh, I love that. Uh, maybe that's an image of Jesus holding a bunch of grapes like that. And then close communion with the vine. Uh, be blessed on the, on the journey. Jesus said, I am the true vine. The one who abides in me and I in him will bear forth much fruit. Blessings on your journey with the true vine.